Okay, picture this. Your VR headset is turning into a Chromebook, but it's way more than just screen mirroring. So Fluid is like its own operating system with apps and add-ons and integrations all built in. So whether you're binge watching gaming or even working with friends, you can do it all without needing to juggle devices. You can move windows around with controllers, hand gestures, or even connect your Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. It's like being the CEO of your digital place without the boring meetings, of course. And there's a multiplayer mode too. So you can hang out with your friends and you can share screens and work together. So it's technically a Chromebook in VR, but way cooler. Well, let's find it out. Hey, I'm Mert and welcome to Reality Rise, where we dive in all things VR. So stick around for some cool insights. And if you're into these kinds of stuff, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and support the channel. Fluid. So here we are in Fluid. We are greeted with a welcome screen. Then we have a screen on the left side and we have another screen on the right side with all kinds of settings. So yeah, you can move these screens and we can see over here some kind of a, what should I say, a taskbar. I don't know if they have a special name for this and it has all kinds of apps on it. We have Spotify, Gmail, Drive and a lot more socials, uh, YouTube. So you can uh, toggle that. You can go to different environments. I thought this. No, it's not the environments. Oh, this is the environment. All right. Yeah, there's a lot of documentation. You guys can go through that. And uh, we got a room over here with all kinds of environments. So that is pretty cool. Um, we can explore these later. I'm in pass through. You can also disable the pass through. I want, oh, you can even access the remote desktop. Yeah, you got support and you got a new tab page. Okay, so we, we can do a quick DuckDuckGo search. For the people that don't know what that is, it is basically a search engine, but it doesn't track your data and stuff and no ads, I think. It is a more private kind of a search engine and it works pretty well. So let's uh, search for the, uh, I don't know, the Quest 3. See how the taskbar or the uh, keyboard, sorry, performs. Oh, it auto opens, that's cool. Press enter. And I'm loving this app so far, guys. It is really seamless and smooth. And it uh, searched for the Quest 3. Okay, for example, let's open, I don't know. Let's open our, uh, I don't know, Instagram or something. And here you go. Let me just put it here. Oh, okay. So if you press the grip button, you don't have to go to that bar underneath. You just grip it and just paste it here. And now we have two windows with two different apps, basically. Now we can open Facebook. So remember the spatial app? I must say this is like spatial on steroids until now. And uh, we got Facebook over there can open uh, Discord. That is really neat. We can also add an app by entering the website URL or paste uh, paste the link. Vimeo. Let's do Vimeo, okay? I'm just gonna do it uh, manually. Vimeo. Oops, not Vimeo. Vimeo, bro. I think it was. Add. There we go. We got Vimeo. Now let's open Vimeo. And now we have another window with Vimeo. These are all tab web pages that are just preset and saved onto the taskbar. You can launch them straight from that app drawer. But yeah, I mean, it works pretty good. It's very smooth. I don't notice any lag for now. We also have a remote desktop. So if you want to use Chrome remote desktop, which basically just, if you install it on your computer, you can use your computer from here. Fluid support. Is this the documentation page? Let me just close a couple of these because it just becomes a little clutter. That one over there. Really fast, really smooth, really smooth. Fluid devs are not online right now, but we'll read messages you sent. Okay, so we have direct chat with the developers, guys. How awesome is that? We got passwords, flu password manager. Okay, so password manager. If you look into your socials and stuff, we have the settings. I love settings always. Hope you can see that. Let me put it here over here and close this one. General settings. Not gonna bore you too much. I love settings, I mean, but not everybody does. They are like, just hop in and just use the app. Yeah, you got the help center. You got Bluetooth connectivity. Yeah, let's test that out. I can use my keyboard. There you go. You got the Bluetooth devices. And you know what? Let's do that straight away, actually. So, my keyboard. Now it's in pairing mode. Oh, there we go. I think that's it. I'll just click on here. Hello. Oh, that works flawlessly. Hello. This works 
absolutely flawlessly. I can use my arrow keys. And if you have a mouse, you can also use your mouse. So pretty cool stuff, guys. I don't even have to use my hands. It's like I have my controls and I can just type, touch type like that. Now that I'm speaking of that, let me just put away the controllers. Yeah, just like that. Now we have hand tracking. Yeah, that works, that works. Oh, cool, enter, that works. So I want to open ChatGPT, of course. So let's click that. This is really smooth, except and of course I have to log in and stuff. So I want to go and explore the environments. So first of all, we are in pass through right now, but I can also like dim the lights around me or just, you know, disable it. And then we are directly on the moon with earth on the background. And look what I can do. Isn't that freaking sweet? So you can reposition this and then you can lock it back. You can also disable it, re-enable it, and I can enable pass through. Then it just goes away because you don't need it. Re-enable it and everything is there. Let's go to the Trenkel Grandeur. So I'm standing right now because I have a standing task. Ah, this is really cool. Very nice and I can position myself at different places. I can even go upstairs. Okay, let's go into, what is this? Oh, this is Skybox. Oh, I can change the Skybox. This one? Wow, an alien planet. And I can upload other Skyboxes also. Let's go into the cabin. Isn't that lovely? And how about this one? With some pinkish hues, refreshing. And we have two more, but those are locked because you have to buy them. Five euros a piece. We are now the single person. So we can join a room and we can create a room. So if I join rooms, then we have community rooms. We can join by a room code or we can just join a community room like that. Or you can create your own. So if I create my own, I give it a name. I give it a certain code. I can make it public or not, and I can describe what the room is about. And I can create it and assign environments and all those sweet stuff. Let me create a room and then I'm going to invite my girlfriend over. Did something happen? I'm automatically joined. Oh, there wow. you are. Hello. This is insane. <laughs> so cool. Okay, so here we are together in this room. So for example, mm -hmm. I can go this to this place right here. Now you can see me here. Am I like yeah. a black ball too? Like your head is like black. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. So I think they are still working on that. But okay, let me co come back to you. All right, cool. Sh shared, shared computer. Yes. Okay, c can you see Google in front of you? Yeah. Can you do something there? Yes. I see you doing stuff. Look, I can also do stuff. Oh, yeah. So it works. Ah, uh, okay. So I can work from there. I can, you can work from here. Can you see that? It's like a new tab. I can make like. Yeah. Press like. Can you see that we are on YouTube now? Yeah, I can see you. So cool. This is so cool. Can you see the video? Yes, I can see the video. Commemoration. You just cannot type. I can, I can click, but I can't type anything. I think if you attach your keyboard with Bluetooth to the to the headset, that you will be able to type. It's still early access, so I cannot blame the uh, creators of the app. The way it works is just the shared ability, like the screen. There's a, there's one single screen that you can share. So it's not like you can just reorder screens like this and people see exactly the layout and what's on the screen. That's not what it is. It's just a shared screen. It's, it's still finicky to be honest because my girlfriend couldn't write anything i hope that's going to be improved upon but for the rest this app is pretty great if you work solo you have so many options there's a cheat code i have no idea what kind of cheat codes they're talking about but and then you have uh, extensions so like you know app blockers uh, dark reader and yeah, you got all these extensions that normally is on the Chrome browser that you can enable from here. And there's a lot of them, like... And then we have a danger zone, clear the web cache. So there you have it, the Fluid app. Overall, pretty 
darn nice experience. I mean, the app is really smooth. You can multitask like crazy. So many different extensions and apps that you can add. So the only part that was a bit of a disappointment was the multiplayer because you know there are no characters. You only see a ball, a color ball. And also I thought you could share your screens that you saw in front of you directly with the people that were next to you. Maybe I'm just having high of demands and don't know how the technology works behind that. Maybe it's like crazy hard. So don't bite me for it. But yeah, I expected a bit more. But overall guys, if you want to be productive, no joke, this app is really, really good. Yeah, so many delicious features. And if you're a person that wants to be able to connect to that PC and have two to three monitors in front of them without actually having to own those monitors physically, then you have to use virtual desktop. And for that, check out this video. I made a whole walkthrough for that. Everything is over there. I'll see you there.